Welcome to my hike across Switzerland on the Swiss Panoramic Trail. About 3,000 feet, we're gonna get above some of these clouds. It's gonna be pretty cool. There's snow up there, I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous about that. I'm feeling pretty good about the snow. We're in the clouds right now. Hello and welcome to section number three of the Alpine Panoramic Trail. We are in uh, the town of Alpenzell. Climb today is about 16 kilometers and over a little over 3,000 feet worth of ascent. So we've got uh, some distance to cover in front of us. It's gonna be about a five and a half to six hour hike across. It's gonna be pretty exciting because this ridge line that we walk across, it's the Wasserschaffen Alp. And it's about 900 meters um, above where we are now so we're gonna get up to about 3,000 feet higher and we're paralleling the Alpstein uh, massive from the Appenzeller primary store here is Alpcasa from this Alp from this area it'll be down closer to the finish is really where the uh, the, the Kesari, the cheese factory is but I'm gonna be enjoying, literally tasting Swiss cheese trails. We're gonna be tasting the cheese that's produced from the cows that are grazing in the fields that we're walking through. Man, I love that. This would be pretty neat to have goggles on. I'll hold, hold you out over the ledge if you got goggles. All right, I'll take us through to the snow patch. Hope you're enjoying this, because I am. Well, I'm glad to say, so far we are not going to have to travel over any snow. So far. All right, well, if you like this bit of VR immersive experience, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Swiss Cheese Trails, and the accompanying website, SwissCheeseTrails.com, for daily 360 degree video in 4K. Make sure you download your high quality. It makes a big difference. That 4K feed is, I just uh, find myself watching it just, like I lived it and I'm watching it. It's amazing how great technology has gotten. All right, welcome back to Swiss Cheese Trails. We're on our third day, section three. We're about 1500 feet above the town of Appenzell. We've reached the first pass and when I say we've reached the first pass, this is what I mean. That is Santis up there. There's a cable car that goes down to the base. That's the town. I don't need to work that hard right now. What I need to do is concentrate on this view. That's the Alpstein Massive. 
And once you get up here, I've mentioned this before, but the hiking on the other side is just fantastic. Some of the best in the country. It's, it's fields with a little bit of rock. It's not like this face. Uh, and so there's grazing and uh, mountain lakes, lots of great trails, lots of elf houses. The Appenzella region is just littered with things to do, great views, great eating and drinking, swimming down in the Alp, Say Alp, no, what is it, the Say Alp Sea. <laughs> And there's a cheese, a cheesery down there as well at the Sea Say Elp Say. Anyway, the Say Elp Say is just below a couple of the different Alp houses, most famous of which is Asher. Wow, look at this view. This is uh, going to be our view for the rest of the day. Guten Tag. Well, I made it to the chapel. I'm going to sit down since the sun's out. I'm going to have a little snack. There's a hiking group of three women who have just come down. So we had a little chat. Very little chat. They spoke German only. Um, about making sure that we can do this. The snow is really soft. There's a patch here that I just walked up pretty easily. So I'm feeling pretty good about the snow aspect. And this is set up for skiing, so there's, you know, I can stay on the ski and snowshoe route and not be worried about falling off. So I'm going to have some, a snack, I wouldn't call it lunch per se. Put you over here, I'll let you have a view of the mountain and the valley. So I got a couple of treats when I was in Eppenzell. I picked up a Jaeger, Appenzell Whiskey Pantley. I'm hoping this Swiss flag marks the top over here. All right, we are just under seven miles out of the 10. Three and a half hours. It's probably a pretty good time there. That's two miles an hour with brakes. Hey. I can't see what altitude we really are because my watch doesn't tell me that while I'm in a mode. At least I don't know how to get there. Oh, here we go. 1,663 meters times three point something to be translate to feet. Oh, Ryan, I don't have a sticker. All right, that will never happen again, Ryan. Call out to Ryan. Well, I went down a little bit below the clouds and we have some kind of a view here. I just love when you're with the clouds here, you can see them darting across. I don't care what altitude you're at. That's always cool. Whew. Well, that's steep. I have a thousand feet to go down. <laughs> we got a downhill slope here. It's beautiful, bright, uh, sunny over there on the Santas or underneath Santas. Uh, we're going to do some boot skiing. Don't often get to do this, and this is a just a perfect grade. The, the snow is perfect, so we're going to do a little boot skiing. Uh, this is supposed to be one of the top 10 hikes uh, in the, in the Appen well, certainly in the Appenzell area. I got to read the sign, but this is one of the best hikes. And behind here, there's some beautiful peaks. Um, 
it's pretty cool but let's do some boot skiing because i'm i'm excited all right without further ado fast way to go down the hill it's cold so the battery keeps going out Well, I made it, and uh, you can see the gondola is, cable car is going. This is the first one I've seen. Uh, I guess they're picking up the, the workers that are still up there. Our grand tour. So, I have a bus to a train, to a train, to a train. I have to negotiate this. Oh man, that last mile, oh entirely in snow. <laughs> <laughs> 